Love it, AJ. Thank you so much. Yeah, good time for the bye week, right? Yeah, that's what the Seahawks are on for this next Sunday. All right, time for our keys to the game. We bring in our digital sports reporter and former Oregon State running back Marcus Graves. Heart still racing for Seahawks fans <sighs> after watching that one. You want to talk about the Minnesota running game, though, yeah. right? Definitely. Okay, so Minnesota's running game, man. Listen, Pete Carroll talked about they want to be the physical run team. Tonight, it was the Vikings. They had uh, Anthony Madison and Dalvin Cook. Both those guys, man, yeah. are you kidding me? What was the average five yards to carry? It looked easy for them all night. They rushed for 201 and one yards, excuse me, but those guys were just physical. Vikings took it to the Seahawks, but hey, a win is a win, man. We got to run with that. And the Seahawks had the fourth best rush defense coming into the game, so that was big. Key number two, let's talk about the time of possession. Seattle making the most of the time they had out there. Minnesota really controlled the clock. Yeah, again, when you run the ball that well, and then from there it's going to open up the pass game, it just it makes your life so much easier. And for the Vikings, that's what they did, right? That's why they had the ball for 40 minutes compared to the Seahawks' 20 minutes. Wow. I mean, and Adam, you and I talked about this off air. It's just the fact of the more you can keep Russell Wilson off the field, the better chance you're going to have to win regardless of whatever happens so they did a great job of balancing the run and the pass again the Seahawks needed to step up because man the more time Russell Wilson is not on the field that's bad news for the Seahawks but the Vikings did a good job of that but again man a win is a win I cannot emphasize that enough you take him when you can get him that's for sure and last certainly not least down here at the bottom <laughs> Travis you were right what is this all about okay Travis you were right yes okay Travis <laughs> Our, our own Travis Tyke, man, we talked about this. I think it was the second quarter when the Vikings went up 13 to nothing. He said, the Seahawks are still going to win. I was like, man, it is not looking like that at all. He proved me wrong. Maybe he should be the one right here talking about the game, breaking it down, and I should be out in the booth, you know, pressing the buttons, tell guys when, in, when they need to come in and come out. But, hey, Travis was right. I told him I'd give him a shout-out, and I told him I would tell him he was right. He was right, so Travis Tyke, new uh, digital sports analyst, maybe. <laughs> And you are right because I'm going to keep you right there because you're going to be rejoining us here in just a minute. Marcus, thank you. Thanks. All right, it, it is about time. The Chargers made it official. Justin Herbert is going to be the starting quarterback, even, even when their original starter